As the Tokyo Olympic Games commence, excitement was felt on home soil overnight, with Brisbane being announced as the host of the 2032 Olympic Games. This is huge news, not only for the Sunshine State, but for Australia as a whole. Joining me now to discuss the announcement is Jean Tunney, Director of Adept Economics. Jean, just how big is this for Brisbane and Australia? Well, it's a big deal, there's no doubt about that, and certainly for the the period in which the Olympics is held, it, there's going to be a big boost in visitors to Australia and Queensland, and then there'll be all the infrastructure investment in the lead up to that. So potentially we're looking at up to a, a $17 billion boost. That's an estimate I, I saw from the Westpac chief economist today. Jane, what is the cost to host such a big event in Brisbane? Well, we're talking at least uh, at least 11 or 12 billion dollars. I saw a story in the Australian today where they were talking about the negotiations between the state and the federal government and it, it looks as if it's going to be at least 11 or 12 billion dollars overall for them for the governments and then no doubt there'll be more money than that because we know that historically the costs of the Olympics just blows out okay there are some estimates the estimate the es the experts on mega projects at uh, oxford in the uk they estimate that these gains blow out by i think it's 170 percent or so is there really value for money in hosting the olympics in brisbane gene well it could be i mean there are some cities that clearly have done well out of the Olympics in the past. I think Barcelona is a great example of that, whereby the Olympics enabled Barcelona to really show itself to the world. And then you had that a great boost in tourism. But the, typically cities don't do well out of the Olympics. And I think they tend, a lot of them tend to regret having hosted them because of those massive cost blowouts, having all this new infrastructure that doesn't really get fully utilised after the games. I mean, you have a party for two weeks. And there was a study by some of the top economic modelers in Australia. I think uh, James Gusecki and John Madden, I think, down in, in Melbourne. I think they were at Monash at the time. And they estimated that the Sydney Olympics ended up having a net cost. So Australia lost $2 billion out of that. Now, another example we haven't talked about is Athens, how they struggled to prepare for the Olympics and have definitely struggled to repurpose all of the infrastructure after the Olympic Games. Now, do you have this fear that Brisbane might have the same problem or the benefits are overstated? Well, yes, yes, I do have that fear, Grady, and that is the great problem because, I mean, it'll be used to some extent, OK? I mean, if we build all of these, this new, beautiful sporting infrastructure, I mean, we will find some use uses for it. We'll host a, the occasional, I don't know, Masters Games or Asia Pacific Games or whatever. They'll, and uh, we'll have uh, sporting groups and in Queensland use it. So we'll get some use. But the problem we've got is that these stadiums don't tend to be economic or commercial propositions. So all of these venues will require, they'll require an ongoing subsidy from the state government. Now, there is data out this year that a lot of Australians have moved north to the Sunshine State as a result of COVID and other factors. Now, do you think new accommodation will have to be built or what like, what solution do you think there is for the Olympic Games to cater for the influx of tourism as well as the growing population? Yes, yes, it certainly will be. Now, the private market will respond to this to an extent. So I already have friends who are planning what they're going to do in 2032, right? If they've got a place in the vicinity of the Gabba, they think, oh, well, we'll move back in with our parents <laughs> for, you know, for uh, that period. And then we'll uh, rent the place out on Airbnb and we'll cash in. They'll have that accommodation problem. I mean, they've got to house the, the athletes. I've heard that, I think it's over at Hamilton, like that North Shore area at Hamilton, that they might be planning the Olympic Village. That, that's. I think that's what I heard. And yes, there will, I guess, you know, hospital or accommodation providers will, will have to, they'll have to factor that into their calculations as to whether to expand capacity. Thank you so much for your time today, Jean. We really appreciate the economic insight into Brisbane hosting the 2032 Olympic Games. But in the meantime, let's enjoy the Tokyo Olympic Games underway right now.
Thanks, Grady. Good on you.